Hello, I'm Holly Carter from the Bullock County Extension Service out of the property of one of our master gardeners. We had some cedar trees that had died out. And if you know cedar, it doesn't rot very quickly. So we thought for a while and wondered what we could do with them. So we came up with the idea of making bird feeder platforms and using the old trunks as the poles to put the bird feeders. We purposely left the limbs so that the birds would have some place to perch while other birds were in the feeder. I don't know if you ever noticed, but blue jays will take and gobble up a bunch of them, go somewhere and sit on a branch, and then one by one deshell the sunflower seed. This is what the branches allow the birds to do. We have another one that is just that same idea but a little bit larger. This is almost a full tree that died because it wasn't getting enough sunlight here in my woodland. So we pretty much buried the bottom three feet of it in the soil and now the birds use it for perching. A lot of times when we have trees die and fall down on their own or ones that we need to purposely cut down we don't necessarily burn or mulch them up. We will take and chunk them up and then set them on the sides of the paths that I have created through my woodland here. That allows them to decompose naturally, leaving places for bugs and critters to hide and or find food in. It's also better for the environment, creates ecosystems for plant life, mushrooms, fungus, birds, insects. Talking about ecosystems, this is a tree that has been rotting in place for probably 10 years and just fell over this past spring. But you can see how the woodpeckers have been working on it. And if you dig into this, <laughs> if I have a stick strong enough, oh look at there. We even have a new cedar tree growing out of this rotting wood. But there's all kinds of insects in there that the woodpeckers, and there's even fungus starting to grow. As it breaks down, it will add nutrients to the soil to help with maintaining the native plant life that is already growing here. I like this sinkhole because it gets rid of bushels of leaves that we pick up from our yard area. It's important to leave fallen leaves on the ground so that insects such as lightning bugs have a place to lay their eggs. Here's another type of garden you can do with a tree, a stump garden. This tree came down probably eight, ten years ago, and it's taken that long for it to rot to this level. But when it came down, I had my husband carve out a hole in the center, and I planted hosta in it, and they've been there ever since. Virginia creeper doesn't just climb trees. It also will stay close to the ground and works really great as a ground cover. And as you can see in this shady woodland, it grows very well. Thank you for joining us in Barb's Wooded Area. If you'd like more information on things to do with wooded areas, please contact the Extension Office.